Glamour's Tony Award winning show is now back on Broadway and taking over the role as the teen is Natalie Mendoza. Charlie Cooper caught up with the new star of Milan Rouge. Thanks, Tamsin. Natalie Mendoza is Moulin Rouge's new sparkling diamond. I sat down with her at the Renaissance Hotel to talk about joining the company of the hit show. This is so much of a full circle moment for you. You were in the film yeah. and now you're on stage. What does that, what, what's that like for you? Does it kind of feel nostalgic? Do you feel like there are parts of um, being a part of the movie that you kind of brought to the stage? Yeah. Or talk about that. So it's funny, m most people don't realize, but I actually auditioned for the role of Satine um, when I auditioned for the film. So um, many years ago, Baz was casting for, uh, the role. And so I ended up doing a workshop at Baz's house. And in that workshop, there are so many moments uh, that made it into the film, you know, there are moments where she's looking into the mirror that we kind of just improvised. Even the uh, Nini's beautiful tango was something that I improvised to the song of Roxanne in the workshop. And so there are all these beautiful moments that we planted the seeds in that sort of improvisation. And to be in this production and realize that there are all these gorgeous moments that sort of found their way onto the stage, it's it's sort of, I, there are so many times where I'm having like this out of body experience. To suddenly be able to, to do this is completely wild and also be surrounded by the team of creatives who I've worked with before. It's just so beautiful. I know that Moulin Rouge had a really successful Tony Award season. How does it feel to step into this role as a teen? Do you feel like there is a pressure to really live up to something? I think. One could feel pressure, but I think there's something about the way life has prepared me. Many people don't know this either, but I was a monk for a while, for quite some time. So I, one of the things that I've tried to master within myself is um, the practice of not being too attached to anything. So not being attached to even what people think. Caring about people, but not being allowing myself to, to be defined by the opinions of, of others, right? So here is a great opportunity to see if I can really do that. And it's just, I, I think I do do it just by showing up every day in my vulnerability, in my messiness, allowing myself to be messy during the rehearsal period and just finding who she is authentically. And that's sort of how I always approach a role. Um, and in that way, it takes all that sort of you know, unneeded pressure. So people say all the time, you can't be what you can't see. And you, as a woman of Asian descent, being Satin, what does that representation mean to you and what do you hope it means to people who are looking on? I think, um, you know, at the time, I, I loved that Baz even considered me many years ago. So he was, al he's always ahead of the curve. He was always, um, I, I, I believe he auditioned uh, many actresses of colour, even way back then. So that was always part of his vision. Um, the world may have not been ready for it, um, but the world is ready now. And to feel the support and the love is just is so glorious. And, you know, it really touches my heart when I, I get these sort of messages on Instagram from young aspiring Asian actresses or just, um, you know, audience members that are always comment on this. To be able to incorporate that into this uh, is super important. And I also, I, the way I developed my character, I didn't want to ignore my ethnicity. So the, the character history that I created as I stepped into the role, I, I keep my Asian-ness with me, you know. Uh, I find little ways to demonstrate it.